Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. In the last video, we have done the how to connect to the MySQL databases using the Prisma in the Nest.js. Today, we are going to learn about the building a CRUD REST API using the Nest.js, Prisma and the MySQL. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So, let's get started. So, first of all, let's go to the top of it. Okay, so what we have to do, first of all, we have to do the, we have to do the connection, then the CRUDest API, okay? So first of all, we have to install the Nest.js CLI globally, okay? So install this globally, right? Then you have to initiate a project, new Nest.js project with the help of the Nest new and your project name. Okay, after this, you have to install the Prisma globally. You have to install or NPM install Prisma, okay? Initialize Prisma in your project with the help of the Prisma init. While when you are doing this, what will happen in the, in your project? This will this will give you the Prisma folder with schema dot Prisma, right? It will come like this Prisma and the schema Prisma with the database source and your generate client. Okay, so this will come into it. After that, we have to create the model. Okay, so whatever the model it could be like the customer, user, products, category, whatever. So you can. Are define the models if you haven't watched my prisma tutorials then you can watch the prisma tutorials <coughs> then you come to know the understanding what the prisma exactly how the model works okay so this is the first step okay and here we have a database url so the database url uh, by default it will give you the env file also so make sure you have two database url you can add it over here so currently i am using the mysql you can go with the postgres you can go with the mongodb in the later series we are going to adding that one also okay this is the first step this is done the schema prisma in it okay <clears throat> after this done then we have in the source we have to create the prisma folder and the prisma module.ts and the service.ts okay in the module.ts what we have to import the nest.js common module then prisma service from the prisma okay here you can see that service this is the service we have made okay in the module we have to add the providers prisma service and export that one okay and in the service this is important because on the behalf of it we are going to run the queries like find all find many okay delete update everything or create a user right so this is very important then we are creating the injectable over here export the class prisma service okay and then constructor with the help of this prisma.client with the new prisma client we are going to use this one in the users controller right so this file prisma this is done then we have to create the users okay users module right so create this one what we have to do we have to make sure you have to install the prisma client also npm install prisma okay and this is optional okay you don't need to install it okay after this this is the model that we have already discussed then we have to create the users module in the nest.js like this nest generate module users controllers and the service you have to create this one okay so let's go and understand so first of all we have a users controller okay so here we have a uh, import all of this from the nest.js common and this is the user service okay then the first one <coughs> we are using the service like uh, find all okay the, this dot users find all then find by one okay at the param id then the post at the red body with create okay and last one that we have update and the delete remove and update okay so these are the controller files okay let's move to the service files okay this we have to define first so please check each and every function i have showed you okay then first one that is find all in the user service okay so here we have the user service prisma service this is because on the behalf of it we have to assess the queries of the prisma right so this dot prisma dot prisma client dot user find many so this is the first one <coughs> find many then we have a find one <coughs> okay so we have to this <coughs> dot prisma this is referred by this dot prisma <coughs> prisma client dot user dot find unique where id should be this okay then we have a create record okay then we have a update a record with the help of the this dot prisma client dot user update <coughs> with the data whatever we have to send with the on the behalf of id 
then we have a delete operation okay so this is the user service that we have clearly not clarify that one and users controller already done then we have a users module so this is <coughs> users module so we have a module then users controller user service then prisma module okay here we have importing the ensure prisma module is imported user controller and the user surface okay so this is the prisma module <coughs> right this come over here so this is important prisma module we have to import that one because we have to use it in our users okay so this is done after this we have to go to the app module.ts okay <coughs> so here we have to import the prisma and the users module okay add this okay after this in the terminal what we have to do let me show you so you have to run the prisma generate first okay so it will uh, environment variables loaded from the env prisma schema loaded from the prisma schema uh, schema prisma right so this is important then we have to migrate the migrations files so you have to run the prisma migrate dev okay so you have to run this for the migrations to generate into your database okay then we have to run the npm run start will give you the list of the crud operations okay so let's do one by one the operations so first we have the get users or we can make a post request okay so here we require the username and the email so let's make it like this rashnikan2 and the test44 like this send it so it will add it let's add more one test user right so here i'm going to add the test user okay let's try to add it let's go with the fetch all the details you will get to know about the each and every data so here you can see the list of users will come over here next we are going to by id so here i'm going to add the id one okay so make a get request okay so we will fetch the only first record if you want the second then go, go with the second record okay then we have the another one that is update so make it a put request and make update of second record with Rajnikant 2 to Rajnikant. So I'm going to add the Rajnikant 77, something like this. And this is our email address. So I'm not going to update this one. Okay, let's try to send it. So this is updated. Let's go and get the users with the details. You can see that this is updated. In the database, if I go and check, you can see that this is also updated. Okay. So update is done. Let's go with the delete one. So I'm going to delete that record with the user two and it is deleted. Let's go to the database and check. This is deleted, right? So this is the full fledged crowd rest API using the Prisma, MySQL, NASGIS. Any doubt, any query in that to let me know in the comment section. The next coming videos, we are going to learn about the PostgreSQL and the MySQL with the, these two videos, how to connect with the Postgres and how to do the crowd rest operations. Then with the MongoDB also. Okay, so hope you are like the video and understand what I have explained. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.